Okay, in today's lesson, um, I'm going to review a little bit first. We were doing um, Matisse cutouts, either imaginary or I did them of, it's not real, this Gerber a daisy, and I don't know what this is, um, another kind of daisy. So I made my cutouts. Um, I selected these colors and I ahead of time played with different backgrounds. This is what I came up with. I traced my cutouts on my canvas and then I painted in that same color scheme. The goal of today's lesson is to then overlay some sort of pattern on the background and on the flowers. And Matisse did this, but we also just looked at the video of, of Kusama and how she did this, particularly with her, I guess they were the gourds or the pumpkin. So I've got a couple choices. I can make up some sort of imaginary background, which I already kind of have an idea for that. For some reason, I'm thinking almost like writing going across. So this is something you can do ahead of time is play with some patterns that you think that might be interesting on the background. So I'm thinking of that. I can also, if I'm looking at an object, I can do my continuous line drawing of just a section of it to kind of study the pattern. So I love, I've always loved these Gerber, I think it's Gerbera daisies and, and the petals and then they have these little folds in them. So this might be a repeat pattern. Okay, in the center, uh, it's probably like dot, dot, dot kind of thing. Okay, then if I look at this flower, they're spikier, right? So I'll just, again, I'm just going to look at a section and kind of quickly tune into what is that pattern. There's some smaller I guess petals in there. Okay, so I got something sharp, something round with lines, I've got dots, and then I've got uh, my background. So now I've got a little menu, like, okay, you know, and I can explore some other things too, like she did, I don't know, she seems to have these sort of geometric net thing going on, okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to start on this one. I'm going to start with the background. And then this is where I guess it's color theory or color interaction. Um, you're, you're basically doing an exploration. So I like this color. I want to push it more towards sort of a subtle, um, I think it's a celadon green, which I've done in here before. And you do that. This is a light phthalo blue, and I'm mixing some yellow ochre with it. This happened by accident in one class, and I love it. Okay, so I mix some yellow ochre in there, probably too much. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. So for this stage, you probably um, want smaller detail paint brushes. So I just, I kind of picked my colors intuitively. That's where you have an idea and you think, I want to explore that. And either it's going to work or it's not. Give me just a second to close the door. Here comes the garbage truck. Okay, so I've mixed my paint. I like that. I like that looping design. So I'm just going to freehand go across almost like it's writing and I'm using this rounded brush, which is kind of small. And I'm adding water because I want this to, to flow. I can always thicken it up later. Okay, now this is weird because I'm doing this upside down, okay. And I think, I don't know how well that's reading. 
It's pretty subtle, which is what I wanted. I wanted low contrast on the background. And then I will um, do higher contrast on the flowers. So I'm making sure not to cross over the flowers because I want to give the illusion, now that I just crossed over, the illusion that this is the background. It's behind the flowers. Okay, that's pretty subtle. Um, I could go a little bit thicker or I could go a little bit darker. Um, I don't know yet. Maybe some smaller areas. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to, I think it's this flower, and I thought, I just got this new cobalt teal. It's sort of a turquoise, and that would be um, optically kind of zingy. It's, it's an orange and a blue, so complementary. And I think I'm gonna do these loops here. but not necessarily um, in a totally realistic way. Let's see. Looking for a finer brush, which now I can't put my hands on. So I'm going pretty quickly with this. I'm not, I'm focused on the pattern. I'm not focused on making a, a realistic flower. Okay, now something tells me take some red and put it in that center. So I have on my red here. Okay, now I'm going to come down here and I want to play with black and white as a contrast. So, black. Again, I wish I had a finer brush to as a contrast of line, but um, I forgot about that. Okay, so now I've got these sharp, jaggedy lines. Okay. So I'm just mimicking the pattern. I'm not really thinking about I've got to trace around every petal and it needs to be realistic. Okay, not loving this that much right there. Um, 
let's see. All right, so I'm going to blot that. In a perfect world, this would be dry, and I'd be going to my next um, color. Okay, now I didn't like the white. I'm thinking I'm going to put orange, bring some of the orange here down to there. So by working paint sort of back and forth, uh, it sort of creates a com visual conversation. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to bring. So in a perfect world, this would be dry. And then I'd put some of those dots in. Again, I'm playing with the optics here. The turquoise and the orange should be kind of zingy. This is a little wet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll put these down, but then um, after I, after the demo, I'll put it in the sun, and then I'll try and pop those out a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to put some white up here. So we got black and white. Okay, there's more to do, but um, now I'm feeling like this, I'm gonna use this uh, graphite pencil. I'm just feeling like I want something of a finer line. And I'm, so I'm gonna go smaller in here with these swirls, squiggle things that remind me of writing. Charcoal pencil could work too. It would it would show up better than this. Okay. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of thicker uh, paint on this stem just to make it feel more substantial, like it's solid and really holding that flower up. As a matter of fact, maybe I'm going to change the color just slightly. Well, I can clean this up later. I can put some more blue in there. That's just getting persnickety. Okay. 